minus x minus x minus x minus 3x then the determinant of the inverse of the matrix is therefore you can just write this unnecessarily la bariyad bekagila the required expression is minus 3 divided by 2 so a is perpendicular to b and c b cross c is also perpendicular to b and c means these two are parallel athara bekantare ithara kodutare one zero in the vector zero one kodutare you have to take this one okay the locus of the centroid of the triangle oab other vertex is zero zero anta kodidare A is a determinant, B is also determinant. So you want dA by dx, right? So A can it go on? A is equal to x into x squared minus one minus one into one x minus one. Expand this one into x minus one plus one into one minus x. Expand this. It is equal to x cube minus x minus x plus one plus one. Minus x, therefore a equals x cube minus x minus x minus x minus 3x plus 2. Hik banate. Now differentiate. You get a dA by dx. Whether dA by dx or dA by db, note kodi. dA by dx will be kaira do is equal to 3x squared minus 3, which is 3 into x squared minus 1. You must know this is nothing but a x squared minus 1. So, which is three into b agatha? This is three b. Therefore, three b is the answer. Answer is this. Next, if the determinant of a of the adjoint of a matrix of order three is twenty five, so determinant of a adjoint of the matrix A is given to be twenty five. Then the determinant of the inverse of the matrix is see here. Determinant of adjoint A is a determinant A to the power n minus one. That is three minus one because Part of the matrix is three by three, is equal to twenty-five given. Therefore, determinant A whole squared is equal to twenty-five. So, what is determinant A? Plus or minus five. It don't put an absolute value on cover do. Determinant can be negative or positive, you know. So, it is plus or minus five. But you want determinant of A inverse. So, what is A inverse? Determinant of A inverse. It is one over determinant of A. You have this property. Determinant of a inverse is a one over determinant a. It is equal to plus or minus one over five. That is plus or minus one over five is zero point two. Allah bari beka gila. See the choice is here. Point two is there. Decimal al bar ko beka arte. So twenty second problem ke answer is D. Next question. If a matrix two three five minus one is a plus b, where a is symmetric and b is a q symmetric, then what is b and the kelly that? Andre, you are asked to find q symmetric part of this. You know that uh, the matrix two three five one is equal to two three five minus one plus two three five minus one by two, which is a symmetric part plus. Two three five minus one minus two transpose of that two five okay uh, two two five three minus one that is transpose of that divided by two. This is a a. This is b and the koti dara. This is symmetric. This is q symmetric. Ishtala bari be kai gila. You can just take a a minus a dash by two. This minus this by two. So what is this q symmetric part? Two minus two. Zero by two, zero. Three minus five, minus two by two, minus one. Five minus three, two by two, one. Minus one, minus of minus one, zero. So it is zero minus one, uh, one zero divided by two. I got that. Zero minus one, one zero. Zero minus one, one zero. By two, you have divided by it. Mele barati do. Two minus two, zero. Three minus five, two by two. I got that. So. It's a very very simple problem. Idh kya? Symmetric part is this plus this by two. Skew symmetric part is that. Next question number twenty four. In a group G star, idho asthe ne not in the syllabus. You can skip this question. Idho asthe ne the group theory. It was in the original old syllabus. Now A is one two three, B is two minus one one. C vector so lagay. If vector triple product illa ne mige. It's not there in the syllabus. So you can ignore this problem also. Twenty seventh question: If a perpendicular to b and a plus b perpendicular to a plus m b, 
then m equals see you are given a perpendicular to b and a plus b perpendicular to a plus mb so a plus b dot a plus mb is equal to 0 because they are perpendicular when the vectors are perpendicular dot product is 0 scalar product is 0 which implies a dot a magnitude of a squared plus m into a dot b is 0 because a perpendicular to b given plus b dot a that is also 0 plus m into b dot b is a magnitude of b squared equal to 0 other than using the fact b dot a and a dot b is 0 and uh, now you can say m is equal to minus a squared divided by magnitude of b squared so minus a squared by b squared the answer is uh, minus a squared by b squared c is the answer okay very simple problem next question question number 28 a b c are unit vectors said that a plus b plus c equal to 0 then a dot b plus b dot c plus c dot a equals see given a plus b plus c vector a plus vector b plus vector c equal to 0 therefore its magnitude is also 0 magnitude of the vector is 0 and uh, that implies uh, a plus b plus c dot a plus b plus c is also equal to 0 because uh, magnitude of a plus b plus c squared is 0 means a dot a is a squared that is also 0 and which gives you a dot a a squared that is 1 because a is a unit vector plus b dot b b squared 1 and uh, c dot c c squared that is also 1 plus a dot b plus b dot a 2 times a dot b agatha and again b dot c plus c dot b 2 times uh, b dot c and plus 2 times uh, c dot a baratha. that is uh, 2 is taken out c dot a is equal to 0. Now tell me what is this? This is the required expression only a dot b plus b dot c plus c dot a. Therefore you can just write this unnecessarily the required expression is minus 3 divided by 2. So answer is uh, minus 3 divided by 2 easily you can answer this question next uh, question number 29 if a is a vector perpendicular to both b and c then what a and b a is perpendicular to b and c a is perpendicular to b and c and you know that b cross c is also perpendicular to b and c why because you know the cross product definition if you take cross product of b and c you get a vector perpendicular to both b and c so a is perpendicular to b and c b cross c is also perpendicular to b and c means these two are parallel therefore a vector is parallel to b cross c this is interesting now when they are parallel their cross product is vector 0 so cross product a cross b cross c is a 0 be careful here but is 0 kotre to go because 0 cross product two vectors is there vector not a scalar athara bekantare ithara kotirtare ond zero inond vector zero ond kotirtare you have to take this one okay so a cross b cross c equal to zero that's a fine question next we take up a 30th question a tangent drawn to the circle you don't have this uh, equation of tangent to the circle in the new syllabus 31 the area of uh, the circle uh, having its center at 3, 4 and touching the line, but uh, it's within uh, the idea, you syllabus the basic idea of the distance between a point, not even circle, the circle the center could put here. What is the center? 3, comma 4. And the touching the line, you know, know this line is a tangent to the circle. So, this distance is nothing but radius of the circle. So, what is area of the circle and the if you know radius you can find out so distance of the center from the line so distance formula distance between point and the line and the what is the distance of this point from this line it is 5 into 3 plus 12 into 4 minus 11 divided by square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared which is in your first year PUC syllabus you know distance of a point from a line that is uh, equal to radius of the circle because uh, distance of the center from the line because the line touches the circle. Now 15, 15 plus 48, 
minus 11. 15 minus 11 is 4. 48 plus 4 is 52. 52 divided by this is a 169. So 13 one of that. So absolute value of that is this is equal to R. Therefore, R is equal to 4 agatha. Radius of the circle is 4. Therefore, area of the circle is a pi into R squared, pi into, uh, you know, it is 16. 16 pi square units, you can answer this question. Okay. The next one, 32, the number of real circles cutting orthogonally the circle, it is not a universal syllabus. The length of the card of the circle uh, intercepted by y axis, idu kuda ni argue maadabodu, idu length of the card of the circle intercepted by y axis and I can just give you idea, we can uh, ignore it. Ready? Intercepted by y axis and then the suppose the circle cuts y axis and where it cuts y axis and then you know at this point x equal to 0. x is 0 bandre, you can put x 0, you get y squared plus 2y minus 8 equal to 0. Nimgali error values barate y do. So the x coordinate is 0 barate. So y value you can easily factorize and get the roots. Uh, minus 8 is the product sum is this and 4 and minus 2 barate. So y plus 4 into y minus uh, 2 equal to 0 and uh, y is equal to either 2 or minus 4. So two values 2 and minus 4. The difference of that is actually the distance between them. The 6 barate. So you can uh, say it is uh, not in the syllabus. Okay. You can ignore this also. The next question. This is a good question. A is uh, cos theta sin theta. B sin theta minus cos theta are two points. The locus of the centroid of the triangle OAB, other vertex is 0, 0 on the kotidare. 0, 0 is one vertex. A is cos theta sin theta and B is sin theta minus cos theta. So the three vertices are given sin theta minus cos theta. The centroid of the triangle is nothing but x, y is nothing but Average of x coordinate 0 plus cos theta plus sin theta. So cos theta plus sin theta divided by 3 agatha. x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3. Similarly, y coordinate is given by sin theta minus cos theta divided by 3. This is centroid of the triangle. So you want locus of the centroid of the triangle that is locus of this xy. So you want equation involving xy. No the answer that is you have to eliminate theta. So let us now see uh, x squared the body. x squared in agate cos squared theta plus sin squared theta plus 2 sin theta into cos theta or cos theta into sin theta that is okay divided by 9 barata. What is y squared? y squared is again squaring this you get sin squared theta plus cos squared theta minus uh, 2 sin theta into cos theta again divided by 9 square of this. If you eliminate part of it, if you add, you can eliminate sin theta because x squared plus y squared 9 LCM. This is a, so 1, 1 plus 2 sin theta cos theta is 1 minus 2 sin theta cos theta. So it is nothing but uh, see 2 divided by 9 because 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 sin theta cos theta cancels with 2 sin theta cos theta that divided by 9. Therefore, 9 x squared plus 9 y squared is equal to 2. Yalla poorthi maartha kutko bedi. Answer yav formula is a node kuli. Yeah, it is a 9 x squared plus 9 y squared is equal to 2. Centroid mele. Next question. The sum of the squares of the eccentricities of the conics. One do ellipse in on the hyperbola koti yare. Eccentricity of the conic, eccentricity of the ellipse, even on the tagonde, it is a square root of uh, 1 minus uh, 3 by 4, 1 minus uh, 3 by 4. Either a squared is b squared. 3 by 4 whole squared. This is b squared by a squared. b squared is 3, a squared is 4. This is uh, even. Simplify what is e2? It is square root of the eccentricity of the hyperbola. It is 1 plus 3 by 4. Agate. Because the eccentricity of the ellipse is root of a, 1 minus a squared by b, b squared by a squared. For hyperbola, it is 1 plus b squared by a squared. Now, you want sum of the squares. And e1 squared plus e2 squared is the required expression. e1 squared plus e2 squared. 
So e1 square plus e2 square is 1 minus 3 by 4 root cancel out there plus 1 plus 3 by 4. That's why I said not to simplify first. You got 3 by 4 cancels, it becomes a 2. So sum of the squares of the eccentricity is a 2. So answer is a A. Next question, question number 36. The equation of the tangent to the parabola y squared um, uh, inclined at an angle pi by 4 to the positive of x axis. Equation of tangent to the uh, parabola inclined at an angle pi by 4 to the positive of x axis. So, yared idea it could mod both you. So, slope of the tangent in a pandre 2y into dy by dx agate. 2y dy by dx is equal to 4 that is a dy by dx slope of the tangent kandidi by kandre new dy by dx dy by dx is equal to 2 by y agate. So, slope of the tangent is given to be 1. We are inclined at an angle of pi by 4 to the positive of x axis. Slope of that is nothing but uh, tan of pi by 4 because you know slope is uh, uh, tan of the angle made by the line with x axis. So, 2 by y equal to 1. So, 2 by y equal to 1. Therefore, y is equal to 2. When y is 2, you can substitute here. Substitute you get uh, 4x is equal to uh, 4. If you put 2, so x is equal to 1. So, 1 comma 2 is the point. And slope of the tangent is uh, already known. What is slope of the tangent? 1 and the goti then you get. Equation of the tangent. The mother tangent uh, normal hala syllabus is in a faster model. But it is not in the contrast. Y minus uh, y1 is equal to slope uh, 1 into x minus x1. So, y minus 2 is equal to x minus 1 nagate. So, y is equal to x plus 1. So, y equal to x plus 1. So, you know, x minus y plus 1 equal to 0. This is the one. x minus y plus 1 equal to 0. Next, uh, question number 37. The distance between foci and the distance between directrices of a hyperbola. You know, distance between foci of a hyperbola is 2ae. Distance between directrices is uh, 2a by e. You must know this. Distance between foci is 2ae. Distance between directrices is 2a by e. e. Is given to be, see, uh, in the ratio 3 is to 2 on the kotidare. This ratio is 3 is to 2. So, 2a, 2a cancel madre. You get e squared is equal to 3 by 2. e squared equal to 3 by 2. What is e squared? Square root of 1 plus b squared divided by a squared is equal to 3 by 2. The e squared andre is square. You must know. E is the root of this. E squared is this squared. So, 1 plus b squared by a squared. So, careful amadi. b squared by a squared is equal to 3 by 2. Therefore, b squared divided by a squared is equal to 1 by 2 agathe. 3 by 2 minus 1. Therefore, you make a a is to b. So, a by b, a squared by b squared, it is a, a 2 agathe. Therefore, what is a by b? It is the root 2. Positive neighbor, a and b being a length of transverse axis and length of conjugate axis, semi transverse axis. So, this uh, a and b both positive, therefore, you have to take only root 2. Root 2 by 1, and root 2 is to 1 nagate. So, the a is to b is uh, root 2 is to 1. So, this is the answer. Okay. Next, uh, question number 38. If the area of a auxiliary circle uh, of a ellipse, auxiliary circle could ask me, we want the on the extra point you think on the marble do as a circle under the for an ellipse circle having a major axis as ends of diameter even actually circle on the carita right so under x squared plus y squared is equal to a squared in a b squared equal to a squared other and the radius is a again at that that circle is actually circle either area and upon the pi a squared and the name go to is uh, twice the area of the ellipse and the area of the ellipse is uh, 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 it is a uh, see twice the area of the ellipse is pi into a into b and the you know area of the ellipse is pi a b. So, this area of the auxiliary circle is uh, twice the area of the ellipse and the new pi pi cancel a also you can cancel a equal to 2 b agathe. So, question you know then the eccentricity of the ellipse and the you know b by a b by a is equal to half. Therefore, eccentricity is 
square root of 1 minus b square by a square that is 1 by 4. It is square root of uh, 3 by 4 which is root 3 by 2. Root 3 by 2 is the answer. So simple idea but as you circle go through so, this is the argument of the syllabus. Next question cos of uh, uh, this expression cos of cos inverse 1 by 5 on the Berkoli plus cos inverse 1 by 5. You know that 2 cos inverse 1 by 5 is cos inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse 1 by 5 plus uh, sin inverse 1 by 5. Now, this is a pi by 2. So, it is equal to cos of pi by 2 plus cos inverse 1 by 5 agathe. You know that cos pi by 2 plus theta solve careful agarabhe kili. Cos pi by 2 idhaga function change agathe. Sin of cos inverse 1 by 5 and be careful here cos in second quadrant is negative. So, it is a minus sign of that. Now, this is not in convenient form. So, you must convert this into cos theta because you know that sin theta is equal to square root of 1 minus uh, cos square theta. Using that idea, I get minus of square root of 1 minus cos squared of cos inverse 1 by 5. That is nothing but minus of square root of 1 minus 1 by 25 because you know cos of cos inverse 1 by 5 is 1 by 5 square there. So, which is equal to minus square root of 24 divided by 25 which is minus root 24 and 2 root 6 agathe divided by 5. So, minus 2 root 6 by 5. So, very good question. Hello, sir, but careful agar be kaathe. Note kodi. The next uh, question, 48th. The value of uh, tan inverse x by y minus tan inverse x minus y by x plus y. Idu earlier class maadi dhi on the in on the paper maadu vaga. Adho na idu x by y you divide by x antela maadi. But I give another method here. See, the choices note there careful agi. None of the choices contains x and y. And re, it doesn't matter whether x is 1 or 2. Yadon ni mishta bandhi value ko tre note both. Because the answer doesn't depend on x and y. You can put a particular value for x and y. x equal to y equal to 1 ko tre. Idho tan inverse of yen agathe noni 1 minus tan inverse of 0 ag badathe. So, a very very easy answer minus pi by 4 agathe minus 0. So, pi by 4 you can go to this answer very easily. Very simple technique. Okay. In on the method you can divide this by x tan inverse 1 minus y by x by 1 plus y x by y. And then mark easier. So, this is a better answer 